Yeah, dear Professor Duarte, dear Peter, dear secondary school students, it is a great honor and pleasure for me to introduce you, Professor Peter Doherty. Uh, he was born in Brisbane, Australia. This is probably one of the uh, nicest uh, city in Australia and grew up in Oxley. And uh, then he earned a bachelor's degree and master's degree in veterinary science from the University of Queensland, Australia. He's actually the only uh, scientist who got the Nobel uh, Prize uh, when he was trained in, uh, in, in veterinary science. At the age of 17, he became acquainted with science. So at the age of 17, it's a good start uh, to do science. And uh, after uh, graduation, uh, he decided to uh, work in Europe, and therefore the, uh, he applied for a job at the University of Edinburgh, and at the same time, he started his PhD work with uh, neuropathology. He was studying uh, the brain inflammation of animals. And then he returned back to Australia and continued his research in Canberra, Australia. And uh, one year later, he had to share his laboratory with Rolf Zinkernagel, later Nobel laureate. Actually, Rolf Zinkernagel has applied more than uh, 50 times unsuccessfully for different postdoc post positions. And then he uh, was lucky enough to, to get a position in Canberra, and they <clears throat> were working in the same laboratory. One immunologist, a Swiss guy, and one uh, uh, other uh, scientists working with, in veterinary science. And uh, they were highly successful. And in two years, or three years, they published four nature papers. Then this served later on the, the background of their Nobel Prize. They figured out how uh, cytotoxic T cell recognize uh, virus antigens on the surface of an infected cell that they, they, we also need uh, a major histocompatibility antigen to recognize this uh, viral antigen. And they figured out this process and, and they also published in this as a hypothesis letter in the Lancet. Later on, he was working uh, in the United States, then uh, returned back to Australia, and uh, again, in, later on, he continued his research uh, as a professor and chairman of the Department of Immunology at St. Jude Children's Hospital um, in Memphis, USA. So you can see that he was working in three different continents. And, uh, he wrote in, his, uh, in one of his papers that success in science is a lot about being in the right place at the right time. And I have lucked into that optimal situation on several occasions. So Peter Doherty was really lucky. But what do we need to be lucky? Lucky is not just something that is coming from, from nowhere. Um, Charles Simony, a uh, Hungarian uh, and working in the United States as a billionaire, computer scientist, and space tourist, wrote that luck is where preparation meets opportunity. So Peter Doherty was well prepared and uh, looked around where are the opportunities, and therefore he could be lucky. And uh, these major discoveries were awarded by uh, the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine, for their discoveries concerning the specificity of the cell-mediated immune defense. And here is with uh, his colleague, uh, Rolf Zingernagel. Peter Doherty currently is working in, United, in, in Australia uh, nine months uh, a year, and uh, he kept his research laboratory in the United States as well, and he's working there for uh, three months. Uh, his current research topic is uh, more or less the same as was before, immunity to viruses. And of course, the coronavirus 
and the COVID pandemic influenced uh, his uh, research as well, and he was highly and still highly active in, uh, in uh, looking you know, how this SARS-CoV-2 uh, virus uh, is uh, recognized by, by us and how to prevent this uh, pandemic. And Peter Doherty uh, is a, always a welcome guest in Szeged. He was uh, here in Szeged when we celebrated the 75th anniversary of Albert Sanders' Nobel laureate, and uh, he also visited the secondary schools and gave uh, great lectures, including one with the title How to Win the Nobel Prize uh, here in the academic building. And he wrote actually several books. One of these books is with the title The Beginner's Guide to Winning the Nobel Prize, and then in my last slide, I would like to give you some practical tips how to win a Nobel Prize or maybe to become a very good scientist from uh, Peter Doherty. Try to solve major problems. Be realistic and play your strengths. Acquire the basic skills and work with the right people. Focus and work in an appropriate field. Find and cultivate your true passion. Tell the truth. Be generous and cult culturally aware. Avoid prestigious administrative roles. Take care and yourself and linger a long time because Nobel uh, Prize is given sometimes uh, uh, many years after the discovery. And most importantly, have fun and behave like a winner. So we are very pleased that um, Peter is here now and online and I ask Peter to give your uh, talk. Thank you very much. Yeah.